Hi everyone, Ed here from Bobble Vans, just giving you a quick overview of how to program the Bobble Solaris controller. The purpose of the controller is to control the power for the DC element, uh, which will predominantly be running from your battery. It makes sure that any excess power you've got is diverted to the water heater, but it also ensures that your battery doesn't run flat if the water is not quite hot enough before you run out of power. Now, the actual settings that you're going to put in here are going to vary with your setup. They're going to vary with the seasons probably. In the summer, you've got a lot more solar. So with more replenishment, you'll want to use more of your battery bank. Um, whereas in the winter, you don't want to use your uh, battery energy for heating when you're going to need it for all the other things in your van. So the things we're going to program are going to be V1, V2, T1 and T2. So this is just a very typical um, diagram of how the voltage might vary with time. So for example, this is a uh, charging profile. The voltage is rising because our battery is charging. We've programmed V1, which is a turn on voltage. This then triggers a time delay. So the, the controller is then going to count down a time uh, between the voltage level being reached and the relay actually turning on. It then turns the relay on, which turns the heater on. Uh, this is the point where the heater is heating um, and we've got lots of energy coming in, for example, from the sun. Uh, that starts to run out whilst the heater is still on. It then gets down to our turn off voltage, which is V2. That then triggers another time delay. And then after that time delay, the relay turns itself off. Now, we always recommend that this T2 is set to zero. Uh, everything else can be configured to your setup. Um, and there's a lot more information about that on our website. If you go to the Solaris page, then it's all there um, as a download. So I've got this just set up with a variable uh, power supply. When you turn this on the first time, uh, this has been programmed before, so it's just displaying the voltage, so this is kind of ready to go. Uh, if you haven't used this before, as it comes out of the box, you'll get just P0 in this um, displayed on, on the display here. So, to get into the first step, which is to program our time delays, um, I'm going to hold down this enter button for three seconds. That means I can use the set button to get round, oh, to get round to P1. So P1 is where I program my time delays. As I say, out of the box, all you need to do is press set, gets to P1, press enter, and that takes me into this programming mode. So, I'll start the programming by pressing set. This is now uh, T1, so I've set this to 15 seconds. If I want to um, change the parameters, I'll press the enter button, that changes the numbers. So, I'm going to keep this on, say, 10 seconds. To move to the next one, I press set leave that as one, set to go to the next value, enter, 10 seconds, T1. Press set, that takes me to T2. I'm not going to change any of these values because T2 should always be set to zero. So I'm pressing set. Uh, T3, T3 is the time delay that it takes to turn the screen off. So we can go all the way up to nine minutes um, that will save a little bit of power on the controller, so if you're not monitoring this, then it'll just turn off this display. Um, I'm going to leave this on, on zero, uh, which means it'll never go off, because obviously I'm doing a demonstration. But usually I'll have this set to a couple of minutes. You can press either of these buttons to make the display come live again if the screen is off. And there we are. So those are the time delays set and stored in the controller. We now need to set the voltages that the program is going to turn on and off at. So I'm going to go back to my enter button, hold this down for three seconds. That's going to go to P1. I want to change this to P2. So I press set, that goes to P2, press enter. That takes me into this menu. So this is now looking for voltages um, and then it's going to trigger the relay based on that. But I haven't set any of the voltages yet, so I'm not sure what it's going to do. <laughs> so we're going to set those. So we're going to hold down set. There we are. Press that for a second. And now I can change these values. Um, so this is V1. So I want this set to, say, 13 volts. So enter, just set um, changes the number. Press set, go to the next number. Uh, enter, change that to 13, set, and then I don't want to change that, so I'll press set again. Um, this is the turn off voltage, so I want to keep that as 1, I'll set this to 
12, maybe 12.7, something like that. There we are. Again, press set. The next one is voltage correction. You can leave that one as zero, um, but the options are to go essentially half a volt in either direction. Um, leave that as set. This is um, voltage sensitivity. Just leave that as, as DL1, that's fine. Um, the last one is the behavior of the relay. So this is whether it comes on or goes off above a certain voltage. So we want this um, to come on above a certain voltage. So we leave this as ONH. The other option is ONL, um, just high or low. So ONH, press select, and then we're good to go. So this is going to display the voltage um, that it's detecting at the terminal. What I'll also do is I'll just take this off because you can pop the cover off. It allows you to see the status of the, um, the relay because there's a little green LED. So you can use that to check whether it's been programmed correctly. So if I press the enter button, this shows me a timer. Um, so at the moment, it's sitting there waiting for the voltage to go above the threshold. So my voltage is, I think, 13 and a half. So if I just turn this up, you can see now that this is counting down for the predetermined time, which was 10 seconds. As soon as I get to zero, we should see the green light come on. There we are. So now that would effectively have turned on the element. If we simulate um, the voltage dropping, so I'll bring the voltage back down again. There we are. As soon as I went past the voltage threshold, 12.7, that relay went off because um, we've got the time delay set to zero, so it immediately acted, uh, which is the behavior we want. So if I turn this back up again, past 13.5, if it doesn't um, click by the time it goes back down um, below the threshold, it won't actually activate, it'll just reset the timer. So it has to stay above that voltage for the whole, um, the whole time. There we go. So that's working as expected. So if I leave this in this mode, I can press the enter button, can display the voltages. If I turn this off, all those parameters are then stored within the device. So if I turn it back on again, it goes back to exactly the same setting as before. Pop the cover back on and we're good to go. Hope that's been helpful. Any questions, uh, drop us an email or uh, fill in the contact form on the website. Thanks very much.